It's preseason football on ESPN. The Seahawks come into this game with what should be a top shelf rushing attack. We'll see if they can establish some momentum and chew up the yards. They will be facing a team with different strengths versus the Saints who come in with a dominating secondary. They possess the ability to shut down most middle to deep passing attacks and completely disrupt offensive coordinators game plans. So let's see how it plays out in New Orleans with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Welcome. It's time for some exhibition football here at the Superdome. I'm Dan Stevens with Peter O'Keefe. Peter, how about giving us the lowdown? Hey, I like this coach-player duo. These guys are center stage in one of the better pass defenses in the league. Jim Haslett has formulated a terrific pass defense. It's a mixture of good play calling, good execution, and good players. Well, tough to beat. On the other side, we have the guy who makes his coach look good. Sammy Knight comes in with a sixth sense for where the ball is going to be thrown, as you can tell from the numbers generated. During his career on defense, he's averaged five tackles and an interception every third game or so. We'll see how it works out, Peter. Let's go to the coin toss. Tails. Tails is It is heads. Head. The Saints elect to receive, and we're ready to start the game. signals and we're about to get underway this is a beauty he puts it out of the end zone great kickoff and we'll start up at the 20 they got the ball let's see if they can take care of business ball at the 20 yard line Tight end is lined up on the right side. Horn in motion. McAllister with the carry through the four gap. A gain of three. Peter, let's run down the Saints' offense. Up first are the big guys, the offensive line. Kyle Turley powers up this line considerably, and that will give his quarterback more time. Next up are the receivers. Joe Horn adds a lot to this pack of receivers. In his career, he's averaged 43 yards on two catches a game. Finally, here's the general and his next in command. Deuce McAllister gives this trio its punch. During his career as a back, he's averaged five yards on one carry a game. Okay, back to the action. It's second and about seven yards. Take it down to nowhere, baby. Yeah. Two tight ends on the field. Yeah. Now right side left. Charges the 35. McAllister squeaks by on that play. He almost gets taken down, but watch how he pulls this out. Ooh, takes a shot from behind, but just keeps churning his legs until he's out of trouble. Well, it just goes to show, Peter, persistence pays off in a pinch. Ball on the 42. Horn goes in motion. Brooks, they pass. Throws. Incomplete pass. Peter, let's run down the Seahawks defense. Up first is the defensive line. Chad Eaton shows tremendous heart, and the other linemen respect that. Next up are the linebackers. Anthony Simmons is the man who brings the hurt here. Finally, Peter, the secondary. John Springs flies around the field and gets in receivers' faces. Let's get back to the game. Hey. Ball at the 42-yard line. Go get Mason. Put the third one. Force it. 
They line up with their tight end left. Horn in motion. McAllister. Third and long coming up. Carried this one off his left guard. And he got a couple, but there's still a way to go to move the chains. It's third and about seven. They line up in the shotgun. Brooks from the gun. Throws. And it will be fifth and long. Joe Horn seemed to be in the right spot, but the pass was just a little to the left. Goen comes in and will punt it away. It's off. Jackson fields the fair catch. Well, it's their turn on offense. Let's see what they do. Ball on the 20. They line up in the eye. Alexander will run it. This is Sean Alexander, the ball carrier. Sean Alexander torpedoes the defense to get a few more yards on that play. Oh, I'd like to see a ball carrier get mean like that, Dan. Awesome physical effort. It's second and two. Alexander with the nice tackle by the six-year man out of Georgia. Peter, let's run down the Seahawks offense. Let's begin with the offensive line. Walker Jones inspires his teammates to give it their all on every play. Up now are the receivers. Daryl Jackson leads this squad, putting on a big show for the fans. In his career, he's averaged 56 yards on three catches a game. Finally, here's the general and his next in command. Sean Alexander grabs a lion's share of the attention. During his career as a back, he's averaged 50 yards on 11 carries a game. Back to the field now. Third and one. They go with a split backfield. Alexander gets it. Stiff arms. Well, 40. 40. Runs out of bounds at the 34-yard line. First down. John Alexander drills through on this play for some nice yards. Watch this one. Oh, thank you, Stephon. Well, we just saw that the offense can play pretty physical, too, Peter. That move really opened this play up and allowed some big yards. The Seahawks, with a nice run on the last play, will have another first down. Alexander lines up as the lone back after the big game last play. Jackson goes in motion. Dilfer drops back. Throws. Thomas makes the hit. Peter, let's run down the Saints' defense. We'll start off with the D-line. Aaron Howard and his men deliver knockout blows to the offensive line all game long. That's followed by the linebackers. Charlie Clemens is the standout player of this bunch. And lastly, the secondary. Jay Bellamy shadows his receiver like he's glued to him. Now back to the game. Ball at the 26-yard line. Watch the play action. Watch the play action. Alexander. 
Alexander with the ball. Charges. The 15. Sean Alexander, the ball carrier. Sean Alexander turns a successful play into a raging success with his brutal move. Yeah, baby. I can smell the fire from here. Boy, he ignited this ball game. He sure has, Peter. It looks to me, anyway, like he is just up the ante for the rest of the game. Ball on the 14. Single back formation. Trent Dilfer throws a homing missile there for the touchdown. Check this out. Only threads the needle. With two defenders on the prowl, that was a tough, tough throw to make people. He pegged him for six. Lindell will line up for the point after. It's up. The extra point is good. The Seahawks put the first points on the board, 7-0. And we're ready for the kickoff. It's away. Lewis catches it in the end zone. And he thinks better of returning it and will down it. Dan, they allowed the touchdown. And now it's their turn to answer right back. Let's see if they can do it. Ball at the 20-yard line. McAllister will run out of on the left side. Kirkland stops that play after only a couple of yards. Took this one left side of the line and picked up a handful. Eight yards to go. Second and eight. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, baby. All right, double take. 13. Brooks drops back. Close. Good tackle by the five-year man out of Clemson. Aaron Brooks rushed that one a little and overthrew his man. Hey, man, switch to caffeine-free soda, guy. Third and eight. Smart deep, baby. Smart deep. Don't give up the pass. They line up with four wideouts. Williams prevents that play from going anywhere and stops it at the line. Fourth down. Nine yards to go. It's the end of the first quarter. The Seahawks currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. Seven to zero. Owen will punt it away Three. after Three a three and out. There's the punt. Jackson has it midfield. OJ comes in and makes the tackle on the return. First down, Sean Alexander was the contributor for his team last drive. Let's see what he does this time out. Ball, midfield, right at the 50. Alexander with the carry, straight ahead. Smith comes in and makes the tackle. Carried this one off his left guard, and not a bad pickup, just some nice yards there.
Ball at the 43-yard line. Don't give him an inch, baby. Don't give him an inch. They line up with three wideouts. Alexander with the ball. Beautiful run around the outside for nice yardage. And the first down. First down. Ten yards to go. Ball on the 34. number two on the day got a few yards there off the first down carry you can't underestimate the value of getting positive yardage on first down it's second and about seven yards the Seahawks still keep it on the ground that will bring up third down. Took the handoff and went right of center, but it didn't open up like he wanted it to, and he stopped pretty quickly. It's third and about seven. and he didn't compensate enough. Lindell lines up for the field goal. Really gets a piece of this one for a big kick. Oh, let's see that again. A lot of force behind that kick, Dan. But what really matters is where it comes down, and it came down right where it was supposed to. The Seahawks make it a two-score game. They are now up 10-0. Lindell will kick this one away. Strong kick. McAfee fields it deep. This is an important drive, Dan. Although there's time left in the game to catch up, if they wait too long, it'll be very, very difficult. Ball at the 22-yard line. Let's go, guys. Get the fans on the cheer for Horn in motion. Brooks comes back. Throws. It's tipped. Evan is down after making a great play to come down with the interception. Doug Evans made the play. Let's look at this again and, and check out the interception. This is great defense. Oh, nice. Peter, fabulous timing. There wasn't much of a window of opportunity, but he still managed to make that very big play. Yeah, you can't coach reaction times like that. Really good game for this offense so far. They produced where it counts most, the scoreboard, and they can add more on this drive. Ball on the 35. Alexander will run it. Good run by the third-year man out of Alabama. Carried this one just left of center and get some decent yards on that first down play. It's second and five. We've reached the two-minute warning. Ball at the 
29 yard line. They're going with two tight ends. Alexander with the carry. Nice off the tackle. Well, they're going to need more than a half-hearted arm tackle to put him down. Alexander gets it again. And forces through. 15 yard pickup on the play. First down. Robbie Tobek threw a key block on that play, Dan. Watch how it unfolds. There's a block. This O-line is a squad of tough customers, Peter. They opened up that hole. Sure did. Ball on the 11. The Seahawks. with the ground game. Charges. One oh four on the game clock. Like the left. Like the left. Oh, will bring up third and short. Nice pass, and it'll make this third down a whole lot easier coming up. It's third and two. Lindell lines up for the point after. It's up. He adds the extra point. The Seahawks now have a comfortable lead in this one. The score, 17 to 0. To kick it away. There's the kick. McAfee catches it. First down. Well, last time they had it, they turned it over on the interception. Let's see if they worked out the kinks here. Just 51 seconds remaining. They line up with their tight end right. Brooks, they close. Game of 15. He connects with his receiver with ease, Dan. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync. They're able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. Well, they actually look like Backstreet Boys to me. I... I don't follow that. <laughs> Ball at the 34-yard line. They're going with the eye. McAllister with the ball. It's free. No gain on the play. Took the handoff and went right of center. But there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. Nine yards to go. It's second to nine. And they're tied in to the left. Brooks drops back, barely gets it off. Nice catch, and he somehow finds a seam in all that and picks up some extra yards. First down. That will do it for the first half. The score, 17 to 0. Let's go to Clark Dishman in the ESPN studios for a halftime update.
Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. The Seahawks came out of the gates ready to play, as shown by their rushing yards. Expect them to come out in the second half with more of the same and put this one away. Sean Alexander has thundered for a total of 98 yards and no fumbles. That makes him our ESPN Hot at the Half player. That will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman reminding you to tune in to ESPN's postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send you back to Dan and Peter. Barney sets up and will kick it away to start the third quarter. Good kick. Ingram gets it deep. 25. 23 yard return. First down, Seahawks. They get yet another shot at scoring here, and while it's far from over, it's going to take a lot to stop these guys. Well in control so far. Ball on the 26. Stick out on your end of the field, baby. Right, Robinson up, goes in motion. Up. Alexander. Ball at the 26-yard line. Alexander with the carry. Break loose. That will bring up third and long. Carried this one off his left guard, and he gets almost nothing. He needed a lot more than that for the first down. It's third and nine. Sprint backfield. Dilfer fades back. Throws. Nice pass from the nine-year man out of Fresno State. First down. Harold Jackson goes upstairs on this play and makes the tough catch. Watch this. Oh, beautiful. He just jumps right up and snags that ball. He barely even broke stride. You know, sometimes you have to change your course for a pass like that, but he doesn't miss a beat, Peter. Yep, he saw where the ball was headed early and snatched it up with ease. Ball on the 37. the stop his third this afternoon nice job to take this one to the outside you know they've been hammering it up the middle of this drive and the D didn't see this one coming it's second and five Alexander will run it to five left. Bellamy with the tackle, his first stop of the game. Not a lot there, maybe three Third yards. Down. Let's see what they do coming up. Three yards to go. It's third and about three. You guys better get the puck team ready. Get the puck team ready. They line up with two wideouts. Alexander with the ball again. He goes through the middle, picks up maybe five, and of course gets the first down. Nice job to pick up the first. Good read of the D and nice explosion to get through the line. All at the 48-yard line. The Seahawks go again. A gain of six. Perry, this one just left of center. And not a bad pickup. Just some Second nice down. yards there. Four yards to go. Ball on the 46. Watch for the run. Watch for the run. Alexander with the carry. Hurt 
angles. Sean Alexander, ball carrier. It's third and two. Just one man in the backfield. Alexander is the ball. Forces through. He pushes through the middle, picks up about seven, and gets the first down. First down. John Alexander played some aggressive offense there that paid off. Watch this. He just went for it. Well, that shoulder charge really made the play happen, and I don't see him punching through otherwise. Oh, yeah, sacrificing the body. You can't coach that. All at the 36-yard line. Alexander makes a quick adjustment to evade a would-be tackler. Get a load of this. Whoa, that was a close call. That last second leap left the defense uh, grabbing it there. A surprisingly agile move, Peter. He nearly got dropped on that play. It's the end of the third quarter. The Seahawks are serving up a shutout, 17 to 0. The Seahawks racked up their fourth first down on this drive. They're moving the ball very well. Alexander will run it. Knight takes the tackle. That's number four. Boy, another good run and more great blocking by this offensive line. These guys up front are really doing a great job. They've been controlling the game today with their devastating ground attack. They line up in the eye. Alexander with the carry. There's space on the right. A nice run to the outside. Yields good yardage and the first down. Well, we're seeing plenty of nice runs like that one out of this offense today. Their O-line's really been blocking well and opening up some holes, Dan. It's first and goal. <laughs> Barely gets it off. Good catch by the six-year man out of Brigham Young. Got some nice yards there off the first down play, and that really opens Second things up down. a bit for this next one. Two yards to go. Second and goal.
really came to play today. He knocks him back a few yards, as we'll see here in the replay. Oh, great tackle. Yeah, and now that is something you can coach. If you can? And obviously, they did it. They coached him very well. Wow. Took the handoff and went right of center, but he couldn't get into the end zone. Big play coming up. It'll be a 19-yard attempt, one yard shorter than a point after. It's away. Oh, an easy field goal from that range. Ryan Lindahl chips this one in pretty easily. Right through. He could kick those in his sleep. And sometimes he does, from what I hear. His wife makes him spend a lot of nights on the couch. The Seahawks now have a comfortable lead in this one. The score, 20 to 0. Lindell sets up and will kick it away. his leg behind this one. McAfee fields it in the end zone and he will decide to down it. Another turn at offense for this group and unfortunately this game is pretty much over. They should just try and get some yards for respect at this point. Ball on the 20. From the gun. Throws. Hot near the sideline. Dante Stallworth proves once again why you get the football to him. Take a look. A nice catch, but he's not the kind of player who settles for nice catches. No question, Peter. He fights for every yard of turf like he owns, well, like he owns the deed on it. <laughs> The clock is down to a minute and 48 seconds. Trip, trip. Brooks from shotgun. Throws. The pass is incomplete. And Mitchell put the clamps down on that play all by his lonesome. The clock is at 1 minute 45 seconds. Go get Mason. Get the third and long. Force it. Trip, trip, trip. Brooks on the back. Rose. Hot sideline. Great pass by the four-year man out of Virginia. They toss this one right side and complete it for a healthy game. More importantly, however, they move the chains. Nice play. All at the 48-yard line. Shotgun formation. Brooks on the gun. Throws. That was a beautiful catch in traffic. Straight position. And they'll pick up the first. The Saints will take a timeout. That's their second. Aaron Brooks threw a nice one this time. Watch this. Right by the defender. Very good coverage, Peter. Let me ask you, how hard is it to defend against a pass like that? Really hard. He played it right. It was just too good of a throw. Hey. 
right. Ball on the 28th. From shotgun, throws caught over the middle. The 15. He'll get in for the touchdown. Bruce McAllister really poured it on to get that touchdown. Look how the play starts out right here. He makes a nice catch, and then things get going. Into the end zone for a big touchdown. This guy is a real offensive threat. You can't coach that. Carney will line up for the point after. There's the kick. The extra point. Good. The Saints take advantage of an important drive, but they still need more. They trail 20 to 7. Carney will attempt the onside kick here. It's away. The Seahawks cover up the onside attempt. Great hands by the receiving team. First down, Seahawks. This drive will wrap it up for them. Well in control of this game, Dan. They just need to pound it out and take time off the clock. The clock is at 1 minute, 25 seconds. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. The Saints take a timeout. That's their final one. It's now second and 12. They line up with two tight ends. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. Third and 14. You worried about this play? You got a long way to go, baby. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. Loss of two on the play. Fourth down. 16 yards to go. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. The Seahawks come out on top, 20 to 7. And that'll wrap up another exhibition game here on ESPN. Peter O'Keefe, Michelle Westfall, and myself, Dan Stevens, will all be back at the start of the regular season. Now, stay tuned for the ESPN post game show. This is Clark Dishman welcoming you to the ESPN Post Game Show. The Seahawks come away with a 13-point victory over the Saints. The Seahawks dominated time of possession in this game, and it's a credit to their defense. The numbers show just how good the game plan was and how well they responded to anything thrown at them. Sean Alexander ran for a total of 146 yards and no fumbles. He's our ESPN player of the game. And that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to tune in to ESPN during the regular season for games, highlights, and analysis. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.